uh, we started our company during the covid time and uh, during the and uh, we are a team of engineers who have almost 14 15 years experience in medical electronics so during the covid time we were uh, on the search of uh, developing a full product so we felt that an hfnc would be an ideal uh, solution rather than developing a ventilator because such a fancy can help the patients to get better faster and uh, it is a high flow nasal oxygen therapy uh, that is basically a respiratory humidification therapy so there were no indian manufacturers who were making such fancy machines because this therapy started somewhere in 2013 14 and it was not so popular uh, among the medical fraternity so during the covid time there were more awareness about this machine and many hospitals imported the machines we found that in india there were there are no machines and you need to have an affordable uh, machine which is made in india and when we went to many hospitals we found that the hospitals had the issue of service support uh, because of all imported machines so we started the design of the machine and uh, we made the machine in one year time so basically a high flow nasal oxygen therapy device can prevent a patient from going into a ventilator and this machine gives heated humidified respiratory gas that is a combination of oxygen and air and we can regulate the flow this is high flow that means we can give any flow up to 60 liters per minute and we can also regulate the percentage of oxygen which is the fio to fractional inspired oxygen we can regulate from the 21% which is in the atmospheric air and through the supplementary air which is coming from the hospital central line or any gas cylinder so the oxygen can be given up to 95% uh, in this respiratory gas mixture uh, and this is and then we heat and humidify the uh, the respiratory gases and we are giving at body temperature of 37 degree humidified respiratory gases to the patient through a nasal cannula and it is not through a mask so the patient is very comfortable no claustrophobic feeling it's given through a very silicon based uh, nasal cannula which makes the patient comfortable for a long duration so many many hospitals uh, tested our machines more than 20 hospitals uh, leading hospital um, tested uh, the machines for post-COVID. Now the machines find uh, more and more uh, use cases in uh, neonatal infants where the flow rate is lower but uh, the respiratory support for post-surgical case uh, who develop a pulmonary edema and um, and for example liver cirrhosis cases there that liver cirrhosis induced um, hypoxia situation comes so the machine is useful so more and more uh, treatment uh, for different cases are uh, being treated now uh, not only covid or post covid situation but uh, generally and uh, we found that um, in uh, the, the 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 awareness of this machine among the medical fraternity among the pul pulmonologists neonatologist uh, and um, uh, surgical and uh, ice intensivist is uh, getting more and more every day so there is a huge potential for the machine all over india a machine which is 100 percent designed developed in india apart from the uh, technology uh, general turbine based uh, high flow technology we used we have added more and more user friendliness to the machine so one of our design criteria was the machine should be used by any operator in the hospital you don't need, you should not have a trained it should not be a machine for a trained person so we made the machine so simple we have introduced a mobile uh, capacitive touch sensitive capacitive touch tft display where any person who who operates a mobile can simply navigate between the various styles which is flow he can vary the flow, the temperature, uh, the FiO2 value, etc., etc. So very easily, so anybody can operate. That is the first uh, part of it, and so it is simple. Then the second part is of the technology is we also provide a Bluetooth-based uh, pulse oximeter to the machine. So when connected to the Bluetooth pulse oximeter, the SpO2 value of the patient is displayed here, pulse rate is displayed here, and the same value will be displayed on the machine. And we have also developed a Wi-Fi facility for a cloud IoT based, this is an IoT based system. No machine in the world has IoT, uh, no HFNC machine in the world has IoT facility right now. So we developed the IoT facility. So the whole data goes to the cloud through the Wi-Fi network and from the cloud it is going to the respective doctor's mobile app. So we give an iOS or Android based uh, mobile app. So that is given uh, that mobile app, through the mobile app, doctor can do a remote patient monitoring. 
and also through the web, web portal. So if the patient is for one one month or one week or two weeks, the whole treatment uh, details about the patient. The, what what was the flow? What was the FiO2 value? What was the SpO2 value? Uh, what was the temperature? Everything is uh, properly on the web portal, and that will be given uh, to the hospital or to the doctors at any point of time. And any alarms like an occlusion or a leak or any other alarms which is raised from the machine due to any malfunctioning or any error from the patient's or doctor's side will also be notified on the machine as well as it is going to the, through the cloud and to the mobile app. So the machine gives a complete uh, treatment uh, support uh, for the patients, not only for the patients but also a great uh, help for the doctors to monitor the, uh, the improvement of the patient etc. Like that.